I'm going to take a step uh, back here. As you can see, this plane behind us is the plane Jim is talking about that had to land here, emergency landing around four. The results coming in as Senator Corman winning in the 34th district. As we're talking right now, the parade started. You can see yeah. the fire trucks, you can see police. I am in the passenger waiting room. As you can see, people still waiting here. Uh, for a plane that is scheduled to be here around 5.30. In State College, David Kaplan, WTAJ News. Yeah. This is, would now be your sixth consecutive okay. term. So uh, what's it like? Students are asking for toiletries and cleaning supplies, which you can see in this container right here, as well as with these paper towels. They're also asking for school supplies, which are in this backpack. When you look at the land behind me, you see graded dirt. But in the eyes of Carrie Miller, Tri Municipal Park board member, she sees kids playing soccer in athletic fields and families walking their dogs on paths. Rust on a rocker panel is just the beginning. Next, it starts cracking, which causes internal problems in the car. The Timothy J. Piazza anti hazing law focuses on prevention, enforcement, and transparency to end hazing. The bill would give stiffer penalties to those convicted of hazing and require schools to have policies and reporting practices to stop hazing. Those schools would be required to report the incidents to parents and student organizations like fraternities and sororities would be given specific rules to follow to eliminate hazing. The sponsor of the bill, Senator Jay Corman, says he was inspired by Timothy Piazza's parents. His family's taken this on. I mean, uh, they're a family of great courage that uh, it, despite having uh, one of the biggest tragedies a parent can ever have, uh, it's, they've, they've made this a movement. And it's not just in Pennsylvania, they're going around the nation. Students say details of hazing cases have often been kept quiet until now, and there needs to be more serious consequences when it happens. I think that making hazing a criminal penalty rather than just using less substantial claims of furnishing alcohol to minors and underage drinking, I think is a step in the right direction. Corman says the Piazzas are hoping this bill will make sure their child's death to hazing is the last. Hopefully give them a little solace uh, that uh, Timothy's uh, death won't be in vain, that uh, some good meaningful reforms of state law will come from it and hopefully, which I know they want, this will never happen to another child in Pennsylvania. Senator Corman says he will bring the amended bill to the full Senate next week to be considered. In State College, David Kaplan, WTAJ News. That's right. Well, the American Eagle screen print and embroidery owner says they sold 300 Stronger Than Hate shirts in the first three hours of sale today, and they're just getting started. A quiet fall weekday at Central Park in Johnstown. Just across the street, though, at American Eagle screen print and embroidery, things have been busy because of the demand for this shirt. Uh, we've been getting online orders constantly all day from Florida, Georgia, uh, Tennessee, California, Arizona. I mean, you name it. People have been coming to the store from all over the state, emptying out racks. They're doing a good thing. I mean, we have to love in this world instead of hate. I mean, love will always win out. Jennifer Malisco from Johnstown says she may not be from Pittsburgh, but it's still important to support those grieving a few hours west. We're from western Pennsylvania and it hit a little too close to home. The more people that wear the shirts, hopefully we'll get the message out. The design and colors are based on the Pittsburgh Steelers logo. Bradley Michael, lead graphic designer for American Eagle, says they do fundraising for local schools, businesses, and charities every day. But after what happened in Pittsburgh, decided it was time to extend their reach. We decided this might be great on a bigger note that we hit a bigger audience. The small business plans to keep ordering more shirts as long as the demand is there. To find out how you can get one of these $10 Stronger Than Hate t-shirts that will benefit the Tree of Life Synagogue, you can go to wearecentralpa.com. In studio, I'm David Kaplan. Back to you. What should I write? Give me some ideas. Uh, awesome. Oh, Merry Christmas. Yeah, that's a good one. For the last two weeks, when Sean Coral and his sisters Haley and Macy come home from school, they make Christmas cards. And more Christmas cards. Oh. And more Christmas cards. Well done. And decorate them with stickers. <laughs> He's like 160 Christmas cards for patients 
at Mount Nittany Health. I just thought that they might be feeling a little bit like discouraged and sad, so I wanted to get, get them something to make them happier. Sean and his sisters wanted to send messages of hope and light to the patients here at the hospital by writing in their Christmas cards things like, you will get better soon, hope you feel better and Merry Christmas, and ho ho ho, Merry Christmas. After all that hard work, Sean gives the cards to the Director of Volunteer Resources at Mountain and Knee Health. Thank you so much. Are they in here? Can you open them and show them to me? Oh my goodness. And then there's a second layer. There's a whole second layer back there. Cards will start to be handed out to children this same day. This time of year is definitely one where I think we all have our wish list for what we hope to receive. Um, so when I received the phone call that there was a youngster in our community that was wanting to give back to others, um, I knew that that was very special. Sean's grandmother was treated at the hospital for cancer three years ago before she ended up passing away. So giving the Christmas cards to Mount Nittany specifically was a way to say thank you for all the hospital did. Sean's mother says she knows Nana would be so proud. I'm not sure she'd be saying much of anything. She'd be wanting to cry. Sean and his sisters want to give Christmas cards to people in need again next year. What do you think, Mason? Nice? We'll do it next year? <laughs> In State College, David Kaplan, WTAJ News.